Firstly, let me be clear on Johan. Johan's been excellent for us. He was very, very good against Luton stepping in, and it was nothing more than tactical. Uh, Dion's probably the quickest defender we've got um, up against Brennan Johnson's pace. That was the thinking, to put him on the left-hand side, and Keenan Davis drifts towards their left, uh, our right, and hence Jimmy up against him in terms of the physical battle, uh, and they would let our middle man have the ball. So we put Rob in the middle. That was that was the tactical thinking behind it, Ian. Um, and I think it, we, were, we were happy with the outcome. You know, we, we played well. We defended our goal well. We stepped in. Rob was excellent stepping into midfield on several occasions, used the ball wisely, uh, used the ball well. So, yeah, I was, I, we, were, we were very pleased with that aspect. But, don't, you know, Johan's been excellent. And he was bitterly disappointed, Johan, to not just about him and his run of game, which has been outstanding for centre-half. But I think the fact that every player wants to play and he'd been good against Luton. So there was no doubt it was it was purely tactical and no reflection on his performance, that's for sure. And it's something we've seen Andre Gray, get, he seems to be benefiting from a kind of steady run in the team. Because uh, something similar happened with Luke Amos because he, he, he's done well this season, but obviously, you know, with different tactics and formations, you've, you've been in and out of the side. But he looks he looked pretty strong on on um, at Forest. Yeah, he did. You know, this, this is a point about a squad, Ian. You know, every, everyone says... Andre Gray, and then the next one, I said, what about Charlie Austin? And what about Lyndon Dykes? Who's been, you're going to miss Lyndon. And then, you know, what about Jeff? What about Steph? What about Andre Dizel? And then suddenly someone said, what about Don Ball? You know, so the, that's the nature of a competitive squad. You can only pick 11, you know, and it's um, it, it's a difficult one because be, the, the better the squad you get, the harder it is to make the calls and try and get the balance right. The other night, it was a big call, rightly or wrongly. I think I was happy with the way it turned out, but you know yourself, that could easily have gone horribly wrong. Um, and that's that's the nature of the job that we're in. But I, I think it's about trying to use the squad as best we can. And this weekend against Peterborough, the game will change again. You know, we'll look to have more, much more of the ball. How we use it will be very, very important. Making sure our shape behind their transitions, if it's Marriott and Clark Harris as a target, running channels and a focal point in Clark Harris, we have to recognise that fact and try and get our selection right in. So. It's, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Andre's benefiting from running the team. Every player will do that. We've got to try and use the squad, hopefully, as wise as we can. I just don't, I know injuries, I test mean nothing, but it looked, David's hamstring injury looked a lot more serious than Chris's. Is that give you any cause for optimism that he may be out short term, or is it completely in the eyes of the scan? Chris. Yeah. Yeah, I just got the scan this morning. You, you can't scan straight away. You have to let any... Information settled down a little bit. So both players are being scanned this morning and we'll find out. Certainly, as you say, from the eye, from the first impression, you, you would think that Chrissy is, is far less serious the way David walked off, unfortunately. Um, but let's see what happens.